Today's FactsWise mini lesson is about all the ways to make four. And you students get to be the manipulatives. I'm going to show you what it might look like with cartoons. And then some of you are going to get to go up to the front of your classroom and show the whole class what it looks like. All the ways to make four. So here are four children standing up in front of their classroom. And the first student is going to take two big giant steps away from the other students. And then how many students are on her side of the room? One, right? And how many students are on the other side of the room? You're right, there are three. So we could say that one plus three is the same as four. Then the second child takes two big steps and joins the first person. And now what do you see? Do you see two on one side of the room and two on the other side? What could we say? You're right. 2 plus 2 is the same as 4. The next person is going to take two big giant steps. And now we have three children on the left side of the room and one child on the right side of the room. So mathematically, the equation for that would be 3 plus 1 is the same as 4. And then the last child up in the front of the room joins the others. And now what do you see? Do you see four children on one side of the room and no children on the other side? Mathematically, we could say four plus zero. Zero means none of them are on that side of the room. 4 plus 0 is the same as 4. So let's do this again, and we'll write the equations out on the screen. To begin with, 4 is the same as 0 plus 4. I know before I was saying 0 plus 4 is the same as 4, but now we can say it the other way as well. Four children all together is the same as zero on one side of the room and four on the other. Now one child moves and now we can say four is the same as one plus three. And four is the same as two plus two. Four is the same as 3 plus 1. Are you saying them along with me? And finally, 4 is the same as 4 plus 0. Now, let's take a look at how that might look if we did a little coloring of the equations. Huh. I colored two of the equations in red. I colored two of the equations in blue. Why do you think I did that? Turn and talk to a partner and tell your partner why you think two of these equations are in red and two are in blue. All right, now there's one more equation left and I colored it in green. What do you notice about all of these equations and the way they're organized, the way they're colored? Think for a minute 
and then you'll be able to share with your teacher. So today, we looked at all the ways to make four with these cartoon children. And maybe today or even tomorrow, you'll get to do this activity with your whole class with your teacher. Have fun and learn a lot.